What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton trend. Hoxton heads. Right, real quick video for you guys. Gonna be showing you how to spot a fake Stone Island beanie or at least how to avoid them. Now remember, I've set up a new account. It's called Fake Spotter. You can see it right there. But I put a picture of this up on there on Fake Spotter and quite a few people could spot the items and a lot of people couldn't. So there's still obviously a little bit of confusion. I know that a lot of you are out there do know how to spot, but there's gonna be one or two cats that don't, man. So that's why I'm doing these fake versus real videos, okay? But remember, I've got my fake Spotter, so you can always jump on that account and check out more on there. I'll be doing lots more and all sorts, so check that out. So yeah, we got all these hats here. As you can see, got six hats. Now I want you to have a quick guess which one of those do you think is the fake ones, okay? The two items that are fake on this is these two right here, guys. These two in the middle, these are the fake hats right there, okay? Now, a lot of people thought this one was fake. Now, this hat here, I think I bought this back in 2007. It's, it's an amazing hat, it's now collectors, and a lot of people ask me all the time, where can I find this particular hat with the badge? Now, unfortunately, Stone Island have stopped doing this hat so i've said this in so many videos you can't get this hat anymore okay I'm gonna say it again you can't get this hat anymore now funny enough i was on ebay germany just having a butchers as you do and a guy was selling this hat the same hat he sold it it went for 160 euros and it was used okay now i've had some crazy cats out there that have been offering me three bills four bills i had one crazy cat he offered me five bills but i was like look this is collectors man so this ain't going anywhere this is sticking with me now what you will find on ebay is you will find tons i'm talking 99.9% .9 of the hats that you see with the with the stone island badge are fake 99.9999% and they all look like this guy so i'm going to show you how we can spot them real quick what you'll find is counterfeiters are doing a lot of this particular kind of sticker right here and it all it almost looks like the sticker that you'd get from cruise cruisefashion.com they got a label like this so what i reckon is one of the counterfeiters ordered a hat from there maybe ages ago or got the label or something and just put it on there because it looks very very similar uh, cruisefashion.com is real by the way I'm just saying I think that's what counterfeiters might have done but yeah if you look at the badge here I've done a fake versus real badge even if we look at the reverse of that badge under there you can see it shouldn't be like that you can see that the stone island there is not how it should be if I show you the original one you can see that there are some differences right there okay the writing on that is too thin and the writing on the original is more thicker also if I flip the reverse you can see it's almost like a nylon finish that you can see there and if I flip the reverse on this it, you can see that it's just straight cotton finish on the other side so that is actually a fake okay now the other thing i'm going to show you guys as well if you look at the label inside it will always have an art number like that guys you can see it says stoneisland.com with the art number now we'll be doing a video on what this art number means but when you see 15 as the second set of numbers there where it says 15 that shows that it's stone island okay always check on the inside and if there's no art number like on this one there's no art number we know there's a problem because all the old stone island items well at least the older ones and on the labels and the newer ones should have the art number the quality of this um, of the original stone island hat is so nice man i really, really don't know why they didn't continue making this hat which is very unfortunate now if we look at the counterfeit one look what they've done man these guys are so thick look at that so they've made a mistake there look you're meant to fold it all the way through and if you look on the other side you can see the black strip for where the buttons go on the badge but look what they've done here guys there's no strip and they've gone and they've gone and sewed it right through it's not meant to be like that all the original hats if i show you you can all fold them all the way down right like that if you look at this one another genuine one you can all fold them down like that but in terms of quality of this one if people are thinking well yeah the quality can't be too bad the quality is really bad on this one guys you can just feel it it's a very very low grade um cotton i'm not i'm not even convinced that this is a full cotton mix this feels to me like it's um polyester which is basically plastic you was to wear this quite a lot it will bubble really badly man so i don't even waste your time on this one guys and you know for 30 quid you're just better off going for a barber or something man leave this one alone it's not even nice it, it looks really really bait if you ask me now the second hat that i'm going to look at is this one now this hat came out after the badge hat okay 
and they did it in quite a few colors they even did it in a red i think and they did it in loads of different colors man it's basically the same material as this it's the same hat same fabric same nice soft spongy thick feel to it these are really good quality hats man i'm not gonna lie but the only thing is as you can see is that they didn't put the badge they just put the small stone island and i, I still really like these ones very very rarely i see cats selling secondhand one of these i did manage to buy one uh, i think this one actually i bought over in um, ebay germany i think i paid like um, 90 euros or something like that and it was brand new with the tag what i've noticed from the cat on fit one is they're always this same color man it's always this kind of um, black and gray one right there now some of the quick ways that i noticed to spot if it's fake is just to flip it around and i've also noticed this on the polos or any other any other stone island fake garment that has that badge if you turn it around you can see the stitching on there you can see it's totally different look at that you can see that's like a bit of cotton there but you can see they still use the original material on the real hat so you can see the difference is clearly that that's the fake one okay now the other thing about it as well which is really easy is because this the original one was after 2014 it also comes with the Certi logo inside there as well so the best thing to do is just jump on inside and have a look at the Certi logo which you can see right there now if you look at the fake hat if you look at the inside again just like the other one the inside of the of the hat it should look like that guys okay yeah all you got to do is simply scan that or put that into the Certi logo.com 99.9% of this hat 99.9 percent .9 of this hat on ebay are fakes guys and the quality of them is really poor they're not even cotton or wool they're just like polyester i don't even like the feel of them man but chuck those in the bin later on this is the last one of the thick kind of stone island hats after they brought this one out then they brought this one out which was really nice but what i was why I was disappointed with this one is that they didn't have a double fold on it like that. They only had a one fold, man. Why didn't they make it a double fold, yo? Colour on this is really nice and I gave away the blue one as, on one of my giveaway videos as well. Oh yeah, this is another Stone Island hat they brought out that's just got the little Stone Island tag. And I really like this one, man. It's really nice and discreet as well. So that's it, man. That's it for the videos, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you found it informative. I've got so much more fake versus rules coming. Stay tuned for more. Peace out.